mower. Type in mower, M O W E R. Oh. <laughs> Make sure that you don't uh, spawn it on. Um... <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was crazy, man. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 this is games and graphics we are back in the building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing lawnmower mod that's right folks this is a mod where we could mow the lawn it is created by i'm not mental shout out to the creator when you scroll down, when you once you're on this page and you scroll down, always read the full description. They have the requirements as well as the instructions on how to install it and how it works and the settings too. Okay, so make sure that you read this full description right here. Once you're done doing that, come over here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. All right. Now, as of the requirements, I will have links down in the description. Make sure you check that out check out the links in the description It's going to have some links that's going to show you how to install scripthook v and scripthook v.net i will also have a link in there showing you how to install native ui as well all right now these things right here you're gonna have to have uh installed on your own right here but we will be installing map editor today okay i will have a link that will lead you right here to the map editor download page when you get here also read the full description they let you know all the controls and the buttons to press once you're done reading this full description come up here and select the green arrow to download for map editor okay and i will have another link that will be down in the description it's going to lead you here to the updated object list for map editor okay it's important that you download this as well when you get down to this page read the full description after you're done reading that, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. All right. Now, once you have those three downloaded and you have all of your uh, requirements installed, scriptbook v, scriptbook v.net and native UI. On my left hand side, I have three downloads right here. The first one is lawnmower 1.0. Second one is map editor. And the third one is updated object list for map editor. On my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. It's all opened up right here. And I have my scriptbook v, scriptbook v.net, and my native UI installed already. Inside of my script folder, right here, I have my native UI installed. All right. So let's go over to our scripts folder right here inside of our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and open up our scripts folder. Now let's go back over here to our downloads. Let's go ahead and open up our lawn mower folder inside the lawn mower folder what we are going to do is open up this folder that says to your scripts folder create one if you don't have okay so open up this folder inside this folder is going to have three files that we are going to take and drag and drop over into our scripts folder so go ahead and highlight these three files i have highlighted drag and drop those three into your scripts folder all right i already have it as you can see once that has been dragged and dropped go ahead and select back then select back again now we are going to install our map editor so go ahead and open up the map editor folder inside the map editor folder we are going to take these files i have highlighted except the native ui you want to make sure that you deselect the native ui because this is a old version of native ui okay so make sure that you have everything else highlighted except this one okay and we're going to drag and drop everything else and put it right here inside of our scripts folder all right once that is dragged and dropped let's go back by pressing the back button next up we want to open up the updated object list for map editor inside that folder is going to be another folder go ahead and open it up and 
side here is going to be another folder that will say manual install go ahead and open up that manual install folder now you can go ahead and take this object list right here and we are going to drag and drop this list right here into our scripts folder all right we're just going to go ahead and replace that all right once that has been dragged and dropped let's go back to our grand theft auto 5 directory by selecting grand theft auto 5 at the top that'll bring you back to your grand theft auto 5 directory now let's go back over to our downloads select the back arrow and select it again until we can get back to our lawnmower folder now open up your lawnmower folder and you want to take this file right here that says grass it's going to be a xml document and it's going to say grass you want to take that one drag and drop it into your grand theft auto 5 directory all right once that has been dragged and dropped we are all good to go there are some uh, requirements that I suggest that you have, which is a trainer, um, simple trainer, menu, enhanced native trainer, any one of those will do, okay? I will also have a link down in the description for those as well if you don't have a trainer installed, all right? So let's go ahead and run the game. All right, once you spawn inside of the game, what you want to do is open up your map. And for tutorial purposes, uh, we are going to head over here to Michael's house, okay? Because this is where that grass XML is located at, all right? So let's just head over here now. It's not going to be here now, but uh, we have to load it up with Map Editor, okay? So I'm going to show you right now, if you look over here in Michael's line, we have the low-cut grass, which is the grass that's already cut, all right? So uh, just to show you that, now let's go ahead and open up our map editor by pressing function key F7. Press function key F7 and map editor will pop up in the top of the left screen or the left side of the top screen. Go ahead and select load map, then scroll down to file chooser and scroll all the way down to you see grass.xml and select it. And you should see in a couple of seconds, you'll have a message above your mini map saying map editor loaded map. And you will see all the grass right here. Okay, you see all that extra grass? <laughs> all right, so from this point, what you want to do is uh, open up your trainer. I'm going to use simple trainer. And then you could go to uh, vehicle spawning. All right, and I just go down to spawn vehicle by model name and just type in mower. Type in mower, M O W E R. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, Make sure that you don't uh, spawn it on. Um... <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was crazy, man. Make sure you don't spawn it on top of that bush right there, man. <laughs> no, how that happened. But... <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have our new mower out here. <laughs> Alright, so just hop on the mower and you can drive over here. And once you drive into the grass, if you stay here long enough, the grass will just start to disappear. Alright, so if you drive through the grass a little slow with the mower, you will see the grass start to disappear. Now if you drive through it fast, it'll um it will um drop uh let me see, you, you, you can halfway see it. You can halfway see it. Uh, can't think of the word right now, I'm having a brain fart. But if I drive real quick through it, all right, you see right there when I just sit right there? But this bush right be behind me is like halfway seen. Like it's like, it's like 50% opacity, if I'm using that correctly. But yeah, you could also just walk through the grass and just stay right here. And it'll just disappear. <laughs> so this is a cool little mob right here where you get to, uh, you know what I mean, mow the lawn and whatnot. 
definitely be a little bit better if uh, we seen the grass, you know, spit out the side of the mower. You know what I mean? Give it that animation. But, uh, you know, I guess this will be the first. We have a, a real mowing script right here. So we're not going to mow all this right now, but I do want to show you how to add grass. If you wanted to add grass, um, somewhere else okay so say like you had a house mod that you installed and you wanted to uh, go ahead and role play like you were going to cut grass there all right so let's go ahead out to um, let me see here let's go ahead out to the airport real quick then <clears throat> all right okay grass ain't too high here I probably should have picked somewhere else but uh can't really think of no grass right now, so we're just gonna put our grass right here on the corner. All right, I'm gonna put my grass right there on the corner to my left hand side. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit more. Yeah, but this is where I'm gonna put my grass at. All right, so in order to put our grass, I'm gonna use a map editor. Open up map editor, pressing F7, function key F7. Then what we want to do is press enter exit map editor. Once you select that, you'll be able to move around in this free cam mode, all right? And from here, you want to press uh, Y if you're using a controller or press F on your keyboard. And then what we're going to do is press uh, X on the controller and that's going to open up the search box right here. Type in grass and press enter. And when you press grass and enter, these are the grasses that uh, the script notices. Okay, now you could also add in different grasses if you want. All that wonderful information is on the download page that the author has provided for you in the description. Okay, so if you want to know more about adding in your different grasses into the script, go ahead and check that out. Now, as of right now, these are the grasses that's already into the script this one right here prop grass dry 02 prop prop grass dry 03 um, prop snow grass 01 um, prop veg grass 01a through d and then prop veg grass 02a and um, i think that is it yeah just this one right here okay so you got these right here all the way to here all right so i'm gonna go pick one of these real quick uh let's pick this one all right once you pick this one you can go ahead and figure out where you want to lay it at i'm gonna uh, cover this corner up right here all right and let me copy that uh copy entity okay and just Place it there, place it there, copy it again, come on this side, place it there, place it there, and place one right here. All right, now once you're all done with that, press F7 again. Now you can press enter exit map editor that will exit you out of map editor and as you can see the character will drop down. Uh, hopefully my lawnmower is still here. Okay if your lawnmower disappears it's all good. Just go ahead and spawn another lawnmower. Mower. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and save this vehicle as well. All right, so now that you have uh, have your grass up here, also if you wanted to uh, save your grass after you're done editing and adding your grass in, go ahead and open up your uh, map editor and you can select save map. Okay, once you select save map, feel free to save it under whatever name that you want to and um, you're all done with that. Okay, so every time that you want to load up your map, you will just have to go into the map editor and load up your map the same way that we loaded up the grass.xml all right now as you can see i'm just going to go ahead and start mowing this lawn as you can see it's starting to disappear when i go into it see it's kind of meant like if you were to drive a little slow 
see there we go so everything's disappearing right now Alright, that's about it right there, man. <laughs> Alright, well, um, yep, that's gonna do it for me. Let me see, will this grass disappear too? Nah. See, it's only, it has to be that grass that's in, uh, that's on that, uh, list. Alright, y'all. Well, I'm gonna end it right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drive my lawnmower around. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's go back to Michael's house, man. I'm going to go ahead and finish up his line over there. Yeah, there you go. Michael's house is right over here. All right. Let's go back in here and finish up Michael's line. He has a lot over here, man. But while I go ahead and finish, finish up Michael's line, if this helped y'all out to install it, or if y'all just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for you, boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This is games and graphics. Me and big ballin' ass Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.